aside from belts and aside from it being him, I'm just ready to fight. Remember when AJ was the golden boy of boxing? They chiseled Adonis with dynamite in both fists. Well, times have changed, and now he's fighting for his legacy against a guy who hits like a freight train. How strong's the spirit? How strong's the will? We're gonna find out. Dubois? Yeah. He recently snatched the vacant IBF interim heavyweight title after stopping Ergovic in the eighth. Wow. And picked up the biggest win of his career! But he still had something to prove. Sure, he's got that KO power, but AJ, that's a whole different beast. Can Dubois really pull it off? Let's find out. AJ's journey over the past few years has been nothing short of a Hollywood script. After his shocking loss to Andy Ruiz Jr. in 2019, many wondered if the golden boy of British boxing had lost his shine. But Joshua showed the heart of a champion in the rematch. He came back leaner, meaner, and with a point to prove. His disciplined, tactical performances against Ruiz in Saudi Arabia silenced the doubters and reclaimed his heavyweight titles. Riding high on that redemption, Joshua faced Kubrat Pulev in December 2020. This fight was a reminder of why AJ had become such a sensation in the first place. The jab, and he's looking for opportunities that way. Joshua showing the complete repertoire. Uppercuts, right hands, now... He dismantled Pulev with surgical precision, dropping him twice in the third round before finishing the job with a brutal knockout in the ninth. It was vintage Joshua, powerful, clinical, and purely dominant. I think no question, Sergio, you're right. Look at that right hand. There is a highlight reel shot. That, that but just when it seemed like Joshua was back on top of the world, along came Alexander Usyk. The crafty Ukrainian, a former undisputed cruiserweight champion, was moving up to heavyweight with big ambition. Their first encounter in September 2021 was a masterclass by Usyk. He outboxed, outmaneuvered, and ultimately outpointed Joshua over 12 rounds. It was a humbling experience for AJ, losing his titles once again on home soil. Lesser men might have shied away from an immediate rematch, but not Joshua. He activated the rematch clause, determined to right the wrong. The second fight with Usyk in August 2022 saw a different AJ. Surely Usyk shaded. Close round the last one. He was more aggressive, more willing to engage. First stretches of the fight, it looked like Joshua might pull off the upset. But Usyk's class shone through in the championship rounds. The split decision loss was a bitter pill for Joshua to swallow, leading to an emotional outburst after the fight that showed just how much it meant to him. Yeah, okay. You're not strong. How did you beat me? Let's, let's do this. How? Let's do this. Skill. Let's do this. I had character. Okay. Let's do this. And determination. These back-to-back -back losses left many questioning Joshua's future in the sport. Was he still elite? Could he reclaim his spot at the top of the heavyweight mountain? AJ's answer was to get back to basics. He changed his training team, bringing in renowned American trainer Derek James, known for his work with Errol Spence Jr. and Jermel Charlo. Joshua's return fight against Jermaine Franklin in April 2023 wasn't the explosive comeback some had hoped for, but it showed a more patient, measured AJ. He controlled the fight with his jab, secured a unanimous decision victory. And most importantly, got back in the win column. It wasn't flashy, but it was effective, a professional performance from a man rebuilding his career. But the old explosive Joshua wasn't gone. He was just waiting for the right moment to reappear. That moment came in August 2023 against Robert Hellenius. Taking the fight on short notice after Dillian White's withdrawal, Joshua delivered a statement performance. The right hand that separated Hellenius from his senses in the seventh round was a reminder of why AJ had become one of the most feared punchers in the division. Here it comes over the top, look at the feet. The feet are right on top of Robert Hellenius' feet. It's what we call for all night, guys. Joshua carried that momentum into his December 2023 bout with Otto Wallen. This fight showcased a perfect blend of the new tactical Joshua and the devastating power puncher of old. He broke Wallen down systematically over five rounds, forcing the Swede's corner to throw in the towel. It was a performance that had the boxing world buzzing, 
Anthony Joshua, it seemed, was well and truly back. Actually, check hooking. This is good boxing, really good stuff. His face is looking pretty fragile. <laughs> oh, there we go. Joshua. But if there were any lingering doubts about Joshua's elite status, they were solidly silenced in March 2024. Facing former UFC heavyweight champion Francis Ngannou, many wondered how AJ would handle the freakish power of the MMA star. Joshua's answer was clear and decisive. He dropped Ngannou in the first round, showing no fear of the big puncher. At the importance of driving through, not just touching, but driving through with the shot. Yeah, but it always stems with, but I thought Ngannou was having a good round up until that point. He Actually, was. Watched it nicely. That's then, in the second round, he closed the show with a highlight reel knockout that echoed through the entire combat sports world. It was a statement win that put the entire heavyweight division on notice. Anthony Joshua was not just back, he was better than ever. Look, that's a lovely shot. Whoa, that's a great shot. Nobody stands up to that. What we're about to see is the biggest right hand I've ever seen live in a boxing bat. I mean, that's the first one. That completely took the left. Now, let's turn our attention to Daniel Dubois. See, the first one, that's the one that misses. This is the one that connects. Bang on the chin. Super punch from Daniel Dubois, yeah. Dynamite has had his own share of highs and lows in recent years, each experience molding him into the formidable challenger he is today. Dubois' first major setback came in November 2020 against Joe Joyce. At the time, Dubois was seen as one of the hottest prospects in heavyweight boxing. The fight was billed as a clash between the rising star and the seasoned Olympian. For much of the fight, Dubois more than held his own, landing the heavier shot. But Joyce's ramrod jab gradually closed Dubois' left eye. In the 10th round, after another stiff jab landed on his swollen eye, Dubois took a knee and was counted out. It was later revealed that he had suffered a broken orbital bone and nerve damage. This loss was a turning point for Dubois. Many questioned his heart, wondering if he had quit when the going got tough. But Dubois showed his mental fortitude by how he responded to this setback. He took time off to heal, switched up his training team, and came back with a point to prove. His return fight in June 2021 against Bogdan Dinu was exactly what the doctor ordered. Dubois looked sharp, focused, and most importantly, he brought the power that had made him such an exciting prospect. The second round knockout win earned him the WBA interim heavyweight title and announced to the world that Dynamite was back. Dubois followed this up with a trip stateside, making his U.S. debut on the undercard of Jake Paul versus Tyron Woodley in August 2021. His first round demolition of Joe Cusimano was a statement of intent. Dubois was ready to take on the world. The big opportunity came in June 2022, when Dubois faced Trevor Bryan for the WBA regular heavyweight title. In front of a small crowd in Miami, Dubois put on a show. He systematically broke Bryan down before closing the show with a thunderous left hook in the fourth round. It was a coronation of sorts for Dubois, his first world title, albeit a secondary one, and proof that he belonged among the elite of the division. Trevor Bryan, he's not going to beat the count! And Daniel Dubois is the WBA regular heavy... Dubois' first title defense came against Kevin Lorena in December 2022, and it proved to be a roller coaster of a fight. Dubois was dropped three times in the first round, his title reign looking like it might be over before it had truly begun. But showing tremendous heart, the very quality many had questioned after the Joyce fight, Dubois rallied. He turned the tables on Lorena, scoring a dramatic third-round TKO victory. It was the kind of gutsy performance that wins fans and silences critics. And then he put another right up a good together as well, but he's dragged himself into this contest, which was looking like he was going to get beat. Let's, let's get it right. Everyone who questioned his character, his heart, his desire against Joe Joyce. He then came the biggest test of Dubois' career, a shot at unified heavyweight champion Alexander Usyk in August 2023. While Dubois ultimately lost via ninth-round stoppage, the fight was not without controversy. In the fifth round, Dubois landed a punch that appeared to hurt Usyk badly. The referee ruled it a low blow, giving Usyk time to recover. Many observers felt it was a legal punch that should have resulted in a knockout win for Dubois. Despite the loss, Dubois' performance against one of the best pound-for-pound -pound fighters in the world showed he could compete at the highest level. Undeterred by the setback, Dubois returned in action in December 2023 against the controversial but dangerous Jarrell Miller. In a grueling physical fight, Dubois showed he could go into deep waters, stopping Miller in the 10th round. 
It was a mature performance that showcased Dubois' improving stamina and ring IQ. But it was Dubois' most recent fight that really turned heads. In June 2024, he faced Philippe Hergovic, the IBF's top-ranked contender and a man many consider to be one of the most avoided fighters in the division. Dubois rose to the occasion spectacularly. He went toe-to-toe -to -toe with the hard-hitting Croatian, gradually breaking him down before forcing a doctor's stoppage in the eighth round due to cuts. It was arguably the best performance of Dubois' career, a coming-of-age moment that proved he belonged among the heavyweight elite. So, what does all this recent history tell us about the upcoming Joshua vs. Dubois clash? It paints a picture of two fighters who faced adversity, tasted defeat, but refused to let setbacks define them. Both men have shown the ability to come back stronger from losses, to learn, adapt, and improve. Joshua seems to have rediscovered his mojo. The tentativeness that plagued him in the Usyk fights appears to be gone, replaced by a deadly combination of boxing smarts and explosive power. His recent run of stoppage victories suggests he's back to his destructive best. Dubois, on the other hand, had answered every question asked of him. He's shown he can take a 